Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. to leave the husky yeah it's pretty early in the morning we got uh, 4.43 so we are fixing to leave I just did my uh, pre-trip inspection and uh, it's actually drizzling right now that's kind of what I was worried about last night, that it might be uh, starting to drizzle and then uh, hopefully it will not turn into ice rain, but I'm kind of worried that that's what's going to happen, but here we go. Let's get out of here. We got about four hours worth of driving to do. And then we'll be in uh, Winnipeg go do our delivery and then uh, go home from there so I should be in Winnipeg about nine o'clock I think quarter to nine nine o'clock I should be at my delivery place yeah you guys probably heard me say it right and many times already in my videos but we do go here quite often to go to this paper mill and this is where I actually started off my trip. Right here at the paper mill. Well, I went to this paper mill and picked up and went to Jackson, Missouri and delivered there. I went to Jackson, Tennessee and picked up a little there and went to Toronto and well, Brampton, Ontario anyways. It's right in Toronto area. So delivered there and picked up this load there just sold the Sarnia. And here we are, back and riding again. Only well, we allowed to go this way if we uh, if we want to go home from Toronto, unless we want to go through the states. But I couldn't really do that because of my hours. I didn't really have a lot of hours to uh, to work with. I could have actually made it to Winnipeg last night if I if I would have had the hours, but. I actually had to wait till uh, till today after midnight till I get hours back and now I had 12 and a quarter hours again that I can drive today. So let's get over to Winnipeg and do our delivery and we'll see you guys down the road or you will see me down the road somewhere at least. Well I guess I can say you will, I will see you down the road somewhere, I guess, too, because you're traveling with me. <laughs> yeah. At least you're seeing what I'm seeing through my eyes, so, so technically you are traveling with me. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that, so let's get out of here. And have ourselves a good day. Hopefully we don't get ice rain, as I said, so. Here we are, just entering Manitoba. <coughs> the sun is uh, nowhere to be seen, but hey, at least it's uh, it's bright out there, and uh, it's been drizzling on and off. Felt like a little bit of ice flurries or something there earlier, but hey, we are in Manitoba now. Yeah, we got 100 miles to go to Winnipeg, 165 kilometers. So, uh, hey, sit back and relax, enjoy the show. Here we are coming into Winnipeg. Yeah, and the wind has picked up. 
up quite a bit. Yep. We have about 26 kilometers to go and we will be at our uh, delivery place. We'll see how happy they are to see us. Hopefully they'll get me unloaded ASAP. And then we'll make our way home. Yeah. I would really like to be home for lunchtime or just after lunchtime would be something I would prefer to be home. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, this is the Red River that we're crossing right now. We're just about finished crossing anyways. And this is the uh, perimeter that goes around uh, around Winnipeg. We call it perimeter up here. Highway 101. Yep. Oh, one stretch is 100 and one's 101, so I don't know why they do that. Anyways, we're gonna go up to the highway 59 and go down there a few uh, few blocks and then uh, We'll have to do our delivery. So we'll see you over there. Alrighty guys. We have finished on loading here in Winnipeg and uh, Now I'm just trying to get out of Winnipeg. I'm just about to hit the perimeter up here I'm gonna go to the flying J just down the road up here and gonna go fuel her up and then uh, Gonna make it back home today, yeah. Yep, they uh, already told me to bring this empty to uh, Steinbach. That's good. Although the shipper was a uh, receiver, wasn't too happy to see me. <laughs> Which I kind of suspected. Apparently, dispatch forgot to tell me again that they needed an appointment up here. I don't believe that he forgot, just saying. Sometimes they apparently forget. And he said, next time I come here, they would not load me if I didn't have an appointment. I said, I don't care. I said, I'll just take it to my uh, terminal. And dispatch can make an appointment then, because, you know, if you fail to tell me that you got to make, well, we got to make an appointment up there, and, uh, you just expect me to do everything then hey I don't get paid to make a phone call and make the phone calls and arrange appointments that's a dispatcher's job at least in my opinion it is my job is to drive and make the delivery make sure I get there on time that's what I've always understood that that's my job Sometimes that's not the way it goes. Uh, if, if they at least told me that I had to make an appointment there in order to deliver, then five kilometers. Slide right I would have called them last week Friday Clinton. already, told them to, that I'd be here Friday, uh, Monday morning. Uh, I wasn't told that I needed an appointment, and uh, you know, once Friday, once I was loaded, I was late already, and. Uh, Figured Saturday and Sunday they're probably not open anyway, so what good did it do? Uh, what good would have done it me giving them a call on a Friday or I mean Saturday or Sunday, you know? So, anyways, we're gonna go fuel up and go home. Get the truck in the shop. Got a few things I want to get fixed on it. Alrighty, guys, we have made it home, sweet home. Yes, that's it. Delivered our load, like I said earlier, in Winnipeg, and uh, hey, dropped off the truck at the shop, and we'll get some things fixed over there, and hopefully we'll be in good shape after that again. <laughs> but uh, hey, went and played some uh, volleyball, beach volleyball, like I always do. They have volleyball here at the church on uh, Sunday afternoon and Monday evening for the guys. Sunday is a family, but... Uh, Monday is just for guys and we went I went and did that get me some exercise for this big belly needs to go down a little bit but hey no we're done for today so I guess it's uh, time to say goodbye and hopefully we shall see you again tomorrow at uh, 2 a.m. well if you're not up at 2 a.m. I guess later on in the day but
Anyways, have a good one. Catch you on the next one. We've got to the end of this video. Hey, be sure to check out some of my social media sites. And I got the links right down there below in the description box. Hey, I got the subscribe button right there in the corner. It's nice and big for you guys to check it out. Hey, check out some of these cool videos right here. Have a good one. Catch you on the next one.